Hi everyone, welcome to today's class. So today we are going to discuss about tool marks. So in the previous class we already discussed about the pattern indentures. So tool marks is an example for this pattern indentures. Now let's check what is tool marks. Before that, what is an impression evidence? So the objects or materials that have retained the characteristics of other objects or materials through direct physical contact, those objects are called as impression evidences. The same as pattern evidence, we have called this as impression evidence also. So that is objects or materials that have retained the characteristic of other objects or materials through direct physical contact. those objects are called as impression evidences. So, for example, we can say that like if in a surface, the so surface is floor, so here the footprint comes into contact, so by the contact between this floor and the footprint what happened the impression of the footprint comes in the comes to the floor so that is direct physical contact and this evidence is called as impression evidence so next we will check what is tool mark What is a tool? A tool is made up of, we all know what is tool but just I am telling the definition. A tool is made up of a hard metal hard metal to enable it to operate effectively on softer materials so if these tools leave marks on the surface on which they operate Those marks can be used effectively without damaging so the impression. So a tool mark a tool mask or a tool um, is an hard metal this operate this will operate on soft surface so when this hard metal operate on soft surface they leaves a mark so that marks are called tool marks
So tool marks can be uh, any artifact left using a tool on any material. So if this tool is a uh, acting on any material, they leave a mark. So that artifact is called as tool marks. So tool marks we can give definition like tool marks is an artifact left from using a tool on a material or we can say this can be this mark can be impression any impression a scrape or even a cut through an object so if you want to give a definition for tool mask or if you if you want to give a definition for a tool mark you can say that tool marks are the striations or impressions left by forcefully contacting between two objects by different hardness and this can be any impression scrape or even a cut or goes etc so that is tool marks so what is tool tool is a hard metal tool is a hard metal this will act operate on any soft metal the effect will leave marks so these marks are called as tool marks so tool marks can be any impression if it can be any scrape or even a cut to an object so that means tool marks is an artifact left using a tool on a material tool on a material so that is about tool marks so next we will check what are the types of tool marks types of tool marks so there are four types of tool marks four types of tool marks so first one is compression marks second one is striated or angular marks or we can say as sliding marks third one is combination of both one and two that is compression mark and striation mark and fourth one is repeated marks so in some books you can see only this compression mark and striated marks. In some you can see this uh, compression mark, striated combination of compression and uh, striated repeated marks like that. So I am taking this classification or this uh, there are four types of tool mark. First one is compression, second one is uh, striated angular or uh, angular or sliding marks. And next is combination of compression and striated marks, and then fourth one is repeated marks. So first we'll see compression marks. So these marks left when an instrument. These marks left when an instrument is. pushed or forced pushed or forced into a material such in a such a way as to leave a negative impression of the tool so to a material when a tool is pushed or forced to a soft material then 
this will leave a leave a mark that mark is called as conversion mass so this will leave a negative impression of that tool negative impression of that tool so when a metal or a metal or a tool so they have tool or an instrument if it is forced or pushed to a material that that means if we are giving a pressure pressure to a soft material that will leave a mark called as compression mass so the clarity and individuality of the mass depends upon the surface of the tool the force of impact and the nature of the surface receiving the mass so i'll write here clarity of the mass depends upon the surface of the tool surface of the tool plus one next one force of impact and third one nature of the surface nature of the surface receiving the pressure or mark so when we give a force or pressure to the particular a particular surface that will leave an impression and this clarity of this impression depends upon surface of the tool force of impact and nature of the surface receiving the mark so this compression marks we can give examples like hammer on a surface then metallic seals or stones so hammer hammer seals stones and then marks of screwdriver then typewriting marks typewriter marks so these are the examples for compression marks hammer seals stones marks of screwdriver typewriting marks etc so this is about compression marks next one is straighter marks or sliding marks second one is straighter marks or sliding marks so these are the marks produced by a combination of combination of pressure and sliding contact of the tool so this result in the microscopic striation on the surface so this is formed by the combination of pressure and sliding contact of the two and it will leave microscopic striation on the surface of the particular uh, surface in which the particular tool affected and the surface is scratched in a characteristic fashion depends upon the irregularities of the scratching surface of the tool we can say examples as marks on fired bullet then marks left by a cutting tool such as gold cutter then axe marks formed using uh, by using axe when we are cutting wood then spanner then can openers etc 
so this is about striated marks striated marks or sliding marks or uh, angular marks they are formed by the combination of pressure and sliding contact of the tool then they form a microscopic striation on the surface on which the particular tool operated and we can see examples like marks on bullet, gold cutter, axe, spanners, can openers etc and the surface is scratched scratched in a particular fashion depending upon the irregularities of the scratching surface of the tool for example X, if we are using X, if we are using X for cutting wood, so if the this is the cutting area, cutting surface, this portion is the cutting surface. So if there is any irregularity in this cutting surface, this is the cutting surface. So if there is any irregularity in this surface, that this that will uh, operate in the surface so that will be there in the surface so this is the surface for example this is the wood in which this axe is affecting so here we cut the wood so in this area we can see the irregularity of this particular cutting position so that is called striated marks and third one is repeated marks uh, combination that this both pressure and if this uh, pressure and uh, this sliding contact affect the third one and next one is repeated marks so marks left by the tool upon its repeated operation operation on the recipient surface marks left by tool upon its repeated action so for example this is uh, this is the surface or uh, recipient surface recipient surface is wood so we are using a saw. So you know, not right? So this is saw. This is a tool. So this repeatedly we are using here, like for cutting this repeatedly we are using like this. So that repeated action will form a marks that is that is repeated marks. So example we can say as so for knife if we are using like this in a repeated fashion that is also an example for repeated marks. So these are the types of tool marks, striated marks, then compression marks, combination of striated and the compression mark and repeated marks. So I hope you understood about tool marks and their types. In the next class, we will discuss about the features of tool marks. So I, if you have any doubts, you can clear. Let's meet in the next session. Thank you.